Papa, ooh, ma, ma, papa, ooh, ma, ma, papa, ooh, ma, ma, papa, ooh, ma, ma, papa. Haven't you heard about the nerd? Everybody said the nerd is the word. Right. <laughs> Alfie, hold on. Yeah, I love you too. Hi, welcome to the nerd with the word. Today, what we're going to be looking at is is how to maintain, optimize, and perhaps even refurbish a completely old Windows-based PC. Th this video is based at beginners rather than advanced users but even if you're an advanced user I would ask you to stay around for a few minutes because I think there's going to still be some things that will be useful for you. I'm going to start by drawing an analogy with windows on your PC with windows on your house. If your windows are dirty and grimy you're not going to be able to see through them very well and look horrible but they don't function as well and it's exactly the same with a PC. If your PC is dirty and grimy, Windows isn't going to function as well. A lot, a lot of experts are probably saying you shouldn't really be smoking next to your PC because the smoke will go through it. And you know what? You're absolutely right. But I want to make this real world and I do smoke. Now, I don't have the PC powered on at the moment, but what would happen is we have, we have all sorts of ventilation vents. You see, you've got some here and we have some here. Now, when the computer is switched on, you have cooling fans inside, and what they do is they, they draw in any dust, anything like that that's in the atmosphere will get drawn in because as the fan is circulating, as well as blowing air out, obviously nature abhors a vacuum, so it has to draw fresh air in, which is fine if it is fresh air, but most households, you know, there's, there's dust around, you might have cigarette smoke. First thing that we're gonna have a look at is how to, how to get this clean. Can I clean my PC? with soap and water. Now obviously you can't clean a PC with soap and water. And what I recommend is that you use white spirit or turp substitute is, is just as good and it's a bit cheaper. And just get a little scrubbing brush, get plenty on it and just, just start scrubbing away at that bad boy. Don't worry too much about the inside because we believe it or not, we're gonna open this up. And once we've opened it up, uh, yeah, I think you're actually going to be amazed about what can end up inside the PC through these fans, how much filth and dirt can accumulate. It really is unbelievable. So I've already taken the screws out. I need to open this up and there's, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, I mean, God knows how that got in there. Uh, what? I always wondered where that went. It's like kind of going behind the sofa. Um, yeah, there's a little bit there. I'll have that. Any in here? No, no baggy in there. Oh, for crying out loud. Alfie, was this you? Come here. Hey, come here. Right, come on, on here. Is that yours? Right, because I've told you before. No, that's my cake. I'm going to have the cake. You can have some cake in a minute. Is that your poo? I, I've told you before. You can't do the PCs, you don't know what you're doing with them, so you shouldn't open them up. Right? I'm trying to do a video for people, you're making me look stupid. Right guys, we're, we're nearly done here actually. Uh, not, not too much left to do, just need to give the inside a bit of a bit of scrub. I mean, have you seen that? Have you seen the amount of crap that gets inside it? But, oh, right, hold on. Sometimes you do need to turn to specialist tools if you want to really get inside your PC and and give it a good clean now the, these tools you know they're relatively inexpensive but they're worth buying if you intend to do a lot of pc maintenance um, now that'll be fine try and get the motherboard out uh, i have known people use screwdrivers but the hard drive here and um, yeah that's You know what? Sometimes you don't even need to worry about cleaning like everything. Like I say, just give the motherboard a bit of a scrub. Just get to what you can reach. I had a little trouble um, refitting this thing together. The, the side panel leg got a little bit bent out of shape, but I think we should be okay. So uh, yeah, let's just um, plug this in and switch this on and we should be...